Hi and welcome to le Studio Marco Primo. Today we're going to go a bit deeper into Magic Independence Sampler. In this video, I want to make use of the sampling features in the software. So uh, the first step would be to collect some samples that we will later load in uh, independence. So uh, I already opened a project with a drum that I recorded. Uh, it's a live drum. Let's listen a bit of it. All right. So I'm going to try to isolate a bass drum it to start with. Um, so I'm going to solo the bass drum. I'm going to expand the track and try to find a, a suitable option where there's not a lot of bleeding because it's those are live drums. Uh, let's see what about this one. Okay, there's a hi-hat just a bit after. But if I take just this part, Okay, let's try this. Um, if you want to export some audio, uh, you can uh, use Control E for export. And um, I'm going to put numbers in the beginning of each name of the samples, so it will be easier to order when we uh, load them into independence. So this one will be 01BD for bass drum. Um, I'm keeping the same resolution as the project. And of course, I chose uh, range to uh, export only that part of, this, of the song. But one thing I just uh, realized is that every tracks are soloed, so that's not good. Uh, I'm going to choose another one. And then this way, it's only this one. We select again and export 01BD export okay and now the snare I'm going to choose the track solo it and try to find a suitable place to export yeah this one is good yep um Control E to export, zero to snare. And after that, uh, maybe the ayat. Okay. Uh, maybe we can go. So this this seems good. Export two, three hi at. Export. All right, we have we our three samples. So uh, maybe I can start a new project and load up uh, independence and see what we can do with those. So I'm going to close this. All right. Don't save. New project. Um, independence deeper, let's say. When we start a project, the audio tracks uh, can be used as MIDI tracks. The only thing we have to do is to choose MIDI, and they will react as MIDI tracks. So um, I will first uh, load the independence on the first track. So let's remove this. I'm going to go Instruments, Magic. Independence. Okay. 
And when we first open um, uh, Independence, there's a piano. Uh, but we don't use it, uh, we don't need it for now, so I'm gonna remove it. Yes. And we are going to drag our three samples to the layer area and use chromatic as import settings. And I want it to start at C2, um, like this. So you see they are already available. If we go into the mapping section, uh, we can change the, the note. So, um, yeah, I just want to take the ayat and put it on, on like this and maybe like this. Um, I'm choosing those because I'm used uh, to have those instruments at uh, those key uh, on the keyboard. Uh, so if I try it, Not bad. Uh, I'm going so once your samples are there, you can edit when uh, the start of each sample will be when you hit a key and the end. So I'm going to do that right here, and we don't see anything there. I think my sample isn't loud enough to register on the on the image there, uh, but it's not a problem. It works. It's a bit dry and uh, very short, so what I can do is um, go into module, now quick edit, and add some reverb. So preset, uh, maybe some room, remove the bypass. Not bad. Uh, maybe we can change the EQ a bit. Okay, um, let's record a track. So I'm gonna, oops, I'm gonna name this one uh, Drums. And we're gonna activate the click and then uh, I'm gonna slow it down a bit to 100 and Let's hit record and see. Okay. Uh, of course, we can uh, quantize it. Okay, the MIDI notes that were recorded are, are very short, so we hear only a part of the sample. Uh, if we want to change that, we can change the, the quantize option. We we'll, we'll start with selecting every notes, Control A, and then in, with the right click on quantize, uh, we can change the start cue to start and length cue. Q for quantize and apply. See every notes are, are now longer and let's hear the difference. Not bad. All right, so what, what about another instrument? Um, let's record some vocal and try to make an instrument with, with it. How about that? Okay, what I'm gonna do is uh, use one track uh, as a reference, uh, so my notes are uh, close to pitch, 
And I'm going to add another track. Whoops. I'm going to add another track. So insert track. Like this. Vocal. Record. And the input will be in mono. One, two, one, two. Okay, that's good. Um, no click. Ah. 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 All right, now we have our sample. Um, uh, 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 I'm going to remove the first part of it, and then uh, we can, of course, make them more on pitch. To do so, uh, we're going to use Melodyne, right click, Edit audio in Melodyne. Okay, like before, uh, we're going to hit Control A to select every notes. And then we can use the pitch adjuster and pitch drift like this. Uh... Uh, 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 uh. Okay, if you want your notes uh, to be more on pitch yet, yeah, uh, we can use, uh, you, you can right click on one note and choose the pitch modulation tool and you select uh, one note. Drag, you select one note, drag up and down. Not bad. Okay, so we're going to export each of those notes. So this is the A. Control E, so zero four A. This is C, export zero five C. Uh. So that's E. Six E. Uh. So that's F. Word zero seven F. Uh. So that's A. Sport. 08 A. So this is C. 09 C. So what I did there is record uh, many samples because if you stretch the pitch of a sample, at one point, it will degrade and it, will, it won't sound natural. 
So that's why I recorded many notes. So we're going to load them into independence and see the results. I'm going to mute that track. And uh, I'm going to add one more track here. Uh, insert a track. And this, those notes were the guides uh, to, uh, to sing. So I'm going to delete them. Uh, Vok MIDI, like this. And uh, let's start from the top. Activate the click. All right. Um, so let's load our samples. Like we did before, just take the samples and drag them. Chromatic again, and C2 again. If we go into mapping, now my C2 uh, should be A. So I'm going to drag it there. And this should be this, uh, the C and A. Oops. like this. All right. So once you loaded the, your samples, um, like this, we're going to try them. Oops. I need to choose uh, the right MIDI output. Like this. And this is uh, channel 2. We're going to choose channel 2. All right, not bad. Okay. Um, it's very easy to uh, fill the gaps. So you just choose one note and then drag to the other by selecting, you see the icon change there, right there. And we can uh, stretch the other way too, like this. All right, let's listen to this. Okay, uh, but we need to work on the on the start of each note. Okay, and what about uh, playing together? Interesting. Um, I guess uh, we can change um, which we can change the envelope a, a bit. Uh, let's uh, use a preset this time. Uh, and maybe uh, some string. Uh, uh, 
You see, there's a trail when I uh, let the key go. Okay. Um, we'll get the louder volume. A bad, maybe some reverb. And a large concert all seems to uh, be in order. Yeah, not bad. Of course, you can play and change uh, a lot of things. Maybe we can put some clarity. And there's a lot of filters that you can use too. All right, let's uh, let's try to record a, a part with the samples that we just made. So, uh, let's quantize it. Oh, there's some notes that we might not want there. Uh, uh. Like this. Let's listen. So you see, uh, it's pretty easy to load some samples, manipulate them. Um, I don't know if I'm going to do a, a third uh, video on this. Uh, maybe if I find some special features that I didn't see at first. But uh, try it and uh, put in the comments your experience, questions if you have any. And don't forget to subscribe, click on like, and share my videos.